One evening, Bojo entered the park with an elderly person. He introduced him to his friends. Professor Ahmed was a scientist working in the university. The children started playing while Professor Ahmed sat on a bench in the corner. He was tired as if he had participated in the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the town. After a while, the children also came and sat around him. They wanted to know about the celebration. Professor Ahmed told them that after the cultural program, the senior people discussed the town's unemployment problem. A plan was proposed to put up a factory by clearing an area of a forest just outside the town. This would give the increasing population of the town a chance to get jobs. Children were very surprised when Professor Ahmed told them that many people had objected to this idea. This is because the forests serve as green lungs and pure water purifying system in nature. Professor Ahmed explained. The children were confused. Professor Ahmed realized that the children had not visited a forest. The children also wanted to know more about the forest, so they decided to visit it with Professor Ahmed. Visit to a forest. One Sunday morning, the children packed a few things like a knife, a hand, lens, a stick, a notebook and walked together through a forest trail near a village. On their way, they met Tibo, a young boy of their age, group of nearby village, who was taking cattle for grazing along with his aunt. He was very agile, running here and there to keep the herd together. When he saw the children, Tibo also started walking along with them, while his aunt went on a different path. As soon as they entered the forest, Tibo raised his hand, signaled them to keep quiet because noise could disturb the animals living in the forest. Tibo then took them to a place at a high tower to show them the broad view of the forest. Children were surprised because they could not see any land. The different tops had formed green cover over the land. However, the cover was not uniformly green. The environment was peaceful and a cool breeze was blowing. These made children quite fresh and happy. While coming down, they got excited on hearing a sudden sound of birds and some noise from the top branch of the trees. Tibu told them to relax since it was normal phenomenon here. Because of the children's presence, some monkeys had climbed higher up on the trees where they disturbed the birds. Animals often give this type of warning call to alert other animals. Tibu also told that many other animals like boar, bison, jackals, porcupine, elephant live in the deeper areas of the forest. Professor Ahmed cautioned children that they should not go deep into the forest. Bojo and Pahele remember that they have studied about forests as an example of a habitat in class 6. They could see now how the forests provide a home for many animals and plants. The land where the children were walking was uneven and covered with many trees. Professor Ahmed pointed out that tree that there are several other trees, shrubs, herbs, and grasses in the forest. The forest floor and trees were also covered with different types of creepers and climbers. The sun was barely visible through the leaves of the trees, making it quite dark inside the forest. 
Sheila wondered who would have planted these trees. Professor Ahmed replied that in nature trees produce enough seeds. The forest floor provides favorable condition for them to germinate and develop into seedlings. Professor Ahmed asked children to look up and saplings. Some grow up into trees. He added that branchy part of a tree above the stem is known as the crown of the tree.